Why do we love growing sweet potatoes so much? Because we harvest them in September and we're eating them in next September. They're a good solid food, they last, they hold, they're sweet, they're wonderful, but you gotta do one thing, you gotta cure them right. So today, that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna cure our sweet potatoes. So last week we harvested our sweet potatoes and you can see that video, I'm gonna say right here maybe. But um, before I get started, I wanna say thank you for being here. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you are, thanks for being here. We love seeing you again. When you cure, is it helps the sweet potato to become sweet. You know how when you cook it and you get that caramelization and it gets all creamy? That's what that does. And it cures it so it lasts longer in storage. So these are all positives and, you know, just kind of part of preserving food in its own way. You're not canning, you're not freezing, but you're curing and that's part of preserving. And these things will last throughout the year. Truth be told, it's the same day that I harvested them. I just wanted to break this video up and I'm gonna take these sweet potatoes in to my house and set them up for curing and I'm gonna bring you along. So uh, let's see what we can do. Sweet potatoes need a couple things when they're curing. They need to be basically hot, um, over 80 degrees preferably, and a high humidity. And luckily where I am in zone eight in North Carolina, which is, if I'm not mistaken, that's where sweet potatoes come from. Don't quote me on that, but in our state, that's what we like to think at least. So we harvest them now in September and we still have another couple weeks of that easily. And that sets us up for a really good curing. So I put mine in my garage where they're protected because even though they like high humidity, they don't really want to be in, um, they want to get wet. They don't want to be rained on. You know, you don't want to keep them saturated. So we can kind of fluctuate in there too. So if it gets really hot, we can open the door if not. Now I do have my greenhouse and I could put it in there, but right now I'm currently trying to get the soil worked and get everything going and you know i'm watering it a lot trying to get the soil to accept more water so and it's also 120 degrees in there which is a little warm so it works out pretty good now if you have a shed you can use a shed as well you just want to make sure that they're getting airflow you don't want to leave them all stacked up on each other so you want to make it so that the air can flow around them and a lot of people use wire racks um, some people will lay them out on cardboard the cardboard i don't really like because they can hold moisture and then that can cause the sweet potato to rot, especially if you bruised it, if you remember in the last video we were talking. So that's kind of, you know, it's not really preferable to use cardboard. I use this wooden rack that I have. It's got slats in it so that the air can come up through and it has a solid surface to stand on. So that works pretty good for me. So you wanna put them out as soon as you harvest them and you don't wanna wash them off. You want to leave the dirt on. I know, it's crazy, but just leave the dirt on. I'm not really sure why, but I've always been told and heard and read and seen people just leave the dirt on. And even when you go to the grocery store generally, they're still a little dusty when you get them. So you don't want to clean them off, don't wash them off or anything. You wanna leave the dirt on. I know it seems crazy, but that's everything that I've read and seen and I've seen other people do. They always just kind of leave the dirt on. Um, I and mean, when you take them out, they're not all that dirty anyways, but it just kind of protects them. And you want to put them in your rack as soon as you harvest them and just begin the curing process and pretty much leave them undisturbed. Don't get them wet and make sure they stay warm. Now, what about if you don't live in an area with high humidity or heat? Well, a lot of people will also put them in their bathroom because your bathroom tends to be warmer and when you take a shower, you get that humidity boost. And it's a smaller room, so you can control the heat in there if you want. Like, you could put a space heater in and set it and then it wouldn't run all the time, especially if you have one with a thermostat. And anybody who starts seeds or anything like that, you know, a lot of times you already have a space heater with a thermostat built in, which is a good thing to have. But these things will help with you know, curing and keeping that heat up if you don't have that area. I know one year we had a cool, cool fall and we didn't have, we had really low humidity. So I ended up putting them into my bathroom and it worked good. Give it a shot, man. Get out there. Um, if you've got your sweet potatoes harvested, cure them. 
and if you're planning on it that's how you cure it and just keep them nice and warm and humid and that's going to be the best thing and then store them in a cool spot afterwards so you go from hot to cool and you want them nice even temperature you don't want lots of fluctuations when you're storing them but we'll do a separate video on that so um yeah i hope this helps you guys thank you for being here give us a like and a subscribe share us around if you like it it tells more people and we can help them and um you know until next time i appreciate it and we'll see you guys later see ya